X-rays and other types of radiation can cause damage to our genetic material. The first discoveries in this area were made by Hermann Joseph Muller, who was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1946. DNA can also be altered by viruses. By 1911, Francis Peyton Roos had already discovered that cancer can be caused by a virus. He received the Nobel Prize in 1966. Damage to DNA as well as replication errors can lead to mutations in the genes. This phenomenon occurs continually and can lead to genetic variations. However, DNA is also able to repair itself. For their work in DNA repair mechanisms, Thomas Lindahl, Paul Modric and Aziz Sanchar were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2015. Thanks to modern genetic engineering, it's now possible to make targeted adjustments to the DNA of an organism by making use of DNA's natural repair mechanisms. Nobel laureate Oliver Smithies is a pioneer of gene targeting, a method in modern genetics. I began to think it ought to be possible uh, to correct the gene by uh, gene targeting. We now were at a stage where we had cloned DNA, uh, normal DNA, and I thought if I introduce a piece of normal DNA, I might be able to get some crossing over, so SA lining up with SA and GE, and change the bad gene into the good gene uh, by uh, crossing over. So far, several such tools have been developed. The molecular scalpel talon, synthetic enzymes such as so-called zinc finger nucleases, and the CRISPR-Cas method. With each method, the steps are locate the targeted area in the DNA to be edited, cut the strand, and finally repair it. Experts see enormous potential in gene editing, particularly in crop cultivation and gene therapy. Winning the battle against genetic disease, as well as ending hunger by cultivating pest and blight-resistant grain, represent major challenges. These new technological possibilities can also spark criticism. Genetic engineering has always raised ethical questions. Solutions can be found, however, if all parties strive to inform themselves and improve their understanding.